We have people who love the caviar, but then they also love just the basic stuff too. I think it's just all about how you execute it. What I'm most proud of for our premium team is the innovation that we focused on in this calendar year. What can we do with what we already have and spaces we already have and how can we meet our customers' needs and our customers' desires within those spaces. So one of the spaces that I'm most proud of is our Bullwing Club. And this is our owner's club and our minority owner's club. 500 people who come into this space time and time again. Our mission was to make this a space that's unique and fresh and fun. They already get a full buffet, they already have a full bar, but what else could we do to make this an exciting experience for them? What we've decided to do is bring in local partnerships from around Atlanta to showcase our food and beverage scene. So in this club upstairs, you see what the bars used to look like. Not a premium experience, it was a little sad up there. What we started out doing is bringing in our local sushi partner. He does beautiful, beautiful rolls. He brought his team in, he hand rolled sushi, did sake pairings as well. And this was the first activation we did in there and it was so much fun. Guests were excited, they were very interested. This was a total surprise to them. So that was where we set the stage and decided, okay, this is gonna work. So from there, we started doing other types of activations. Another favorite was Hero Bovino. That's a local butcher shop in Atlanta. And he brought in a sommelier from Atlanta and he brought in a caviar expert. So he came, he did these beautiful curry trouts, these briskets. I mean, it was just a gorgeous food. And it all had a caviar pairing and a wine pairing with it too. So that was one of our absolute favorites. It's a very elevated level of food, something that they wouldn't typically find at a stadium. So this is an all-inclusive experience and we plan this throughout the year. So not every event, not every activation is the caviar and champagne. One of our favorites is doing a boozy ice cream station. A huge hit for us, very minimal cost, but it was a great success with our customers. We brought in the ice cream partners and they recommended us some pairings. So we had this pecan old fashioned with Woodford Reserve. So that's the liquor that we already have in house. It's already offered in their spaces, but not something that they would typically get. So we alternate high end experiences with these more local affordable experiences. So it's a great opportunity for these companies to, to get in front of some, some major clients. So they've been more than willing to help. So one of our favorites was our Mother's Day activation. This, we did a wine and cheese tasting. So we took some really great reserve wines that we have in stock, brought in a couple of new ones, brought in some more accessible and more familiar brands as well. And we had our chefs do a really beautiful cheese pairing. This was a unique one because there were a lot of kids in the space too. Typically we cater towards the adults and having so many families who wanted to really include the whole family. So we did this beautiful uh, cheese and wine spread on one side. And we actually have a second bar on the other side where we did a cupcake making station. So one of our local bakers uh, brought in these beautiful cupcakes, made us kits so they could decorate the cupcakes, they could take it home, they could decorate it in the suite, do whatever they wanted. And that was really, really special for our families. We do these primarily on Falcons games, but we also will do it on Select Atlanta United games as well. We did another one over the summer that was a tropical cocktail theme. So we really leaned hard into the ice cream and booze theme. People love it. We brought in one of our local vendors, King of Pops, and they did some boozy ice cream floats, which was a lot of fun. Did some cupcakes. It was really a simple theme, but we just blew it out of the water um, in terms of decor and experience. And people had lays on and they made music and it was just so much fun and just something completely unexpected for the sweet holders. For the Beyonce concert, we really wanted to lean into her and her themes. We did a honey and cheese bar for that. Focus on local honeys, local cheeses. We did cocktails that were inspired by the tour as well. A lot of photo opportunities for that. It's myself and I have a coordinator. Her main focus is executing these activations. We sit and we brainstorm what's fun, what's trendy right now, what do our clients like. Her name is Kennedy and she is the power behind all of this for Father's Day, we had an opportunity to do a take home piece to this. So usually it's contained within the event. Um, but for this one in particular, we had our chefs make a Mercedes Benz spice rub. So it was all barbecue themed. They did these really beautiful ribeyes, steaks, and we had whiskey tastings. And then they got to take a spice rub home with them. So we love that piece of them being able to take this experience with them and take it home and think of us 
in the days and they're not here. We did a bagel bar. So everybody loves bagels. A lot of our Falcons games this year are a one o'clock game. So this was one of our most simple activations, but one of the most popular ones. We brought in bagels from Emerald City Bagels and we did mimosas and bellinis and Bloody Marys and just really kept it simple for that one o'clock game, but people loved it. And it's, you know, we have people who love the caviar, but then they also love just the basic stuff too. I think it's just all about how you execute it and sell it and display it.